This is going to be a basic tutorial on configuring a Cisco Access Point 1142N. So we're just going to factory reset it um, so that way it eliminates any passwords that we don't know when we get into uh, the command line. Uh, the way to program this is uh, used to use PuTTY uh, and that will get us into the command line interface just like Windows has for CMD. Uh, but there are three modes of the command line interface that we need to know before we can configure anything. Um, so then we will configure the Ethernet port that's on the back of it and set up a default gateway so it works with your existing network. And then we will configure the Wi-Fi 2.4 gigahertz frequency and the 5. And then we will plug it into your existing network. All right, so the first thing you're going to do is power it on. I'm going to breeze through this because, you know, kind of easy. Uh, just take the power injector, plug it in, and then um, take an Ethernet cord to AP, and the other end goes into Ethernet. Once it's powered on, um, the first step, what we're going to do is we're going to factory reset it. So press and hold that mode button, and then unplug the Ethernet cord that you just plugged in. Uh, continue to hold that mode button for about 5 to 10 seconds, and then um, you can insert the Ethernet cable back in, but to con continue hold that uh, mode button. Once it's completely powered on, you can then at that point go ahead and release that mode button. Um, in order to uh, get into the command line, uh, we will need a uh, console cable or a rollover cable. Uh, it's basically, uh, it's light blue and it's got a Ethernet port on it to plug into the console port right there. And the other end goes into your uh, computer. They make two different versions of it. One version is the uh, serial um, so you'll need a uh, serial to USB adapter or you can just buy uh, the all-in-one. So the program that we're going to use to uh, configure this access point is going to be PuTTY. So you'll go to um, putty.org uh, to download it and then it's actually going to be, um, you can download PuTTY and then on the website it's going to say click here so click there on the website. Once you do install it, uh, it's going to look exactly like this. So um, the default is SSH, so select serial. And then uh, what we're going to do is we're going to um, use the command, I'm sorry, we're going to use the uh, COM port that it's asking for. I'll show you how to find that. Leave the speed at the default and then just hit open. Once it does open, you're going to get a black screen like this. Um, that's basically how you're going to uh, know that you did it correctly. Um, so the, there are three modes of the terminal um, or the command line. Um, so it's user exec mode, privilege mode, and global mode. User exec mode, there's um, little things that you can do in this. It's very little, um, but in order to get into privilege mode, we need to type in enable. It's also known as the enable mode. Uh, and then you will get into uh, the second mode, which is, which is privilege mode. Uh, then to get to the next mode, you type in configure terminal or configure T. Uh, it will get you into the configure section, and that's actually where we're going to be, uh, mostly as we configure this. So just hit enter as soon as you get that black screen right there. As soon as you get this black screen, just hit enter. You'll get the first mode if it's factory reset correctly, which is the user exec mode. See how you type in enable. And then it asks for the password. Just go ahead and type in Cisco with a capital C. That'll get you into privilege mode. And then type once you're in a privilege mode, type in type in config terminal or config T, and it will get you into global configuration. I'm sorry, global configuration mode where we're going to use to configure it. So just to reiterate, three modes. Type in enable, config T, and you will get there. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to configure the bridge interface, uh, which is an Ethernet port. Um, so the way the commands, uh, where we're going to do that is INT stands for interface, and then uh, BV1, and now you're in the sub interface, so you're going to type an IP address, and then 192.168.1.10. I gave it 10 only just because that was an IP that was available on my network. It could be anything you like as long as it's within your network. And then type in the subnet mass 255.255.255.0, then type in exit, and then to configure the default gateway, you do IP default dash gateway, and then you give it the um, default gateway of your router. Mine is 192.168.1.1, so that's why I typed that in. Um, yours could be different. 
So as soon as then we configured the uh, interface, what we need to do is actually we need to now name the network. So the way to do that is to type in dot eleven SSID, and then this is the name of the network. And this is what we're going to use for the 2.4 frequency. Um, in order to tell this name it's going to be identified with the 2.4, we need to go into uh, the interface, and D0 is 2.4 gigahertz frequency. So we're going to go D0, and then we're going to encrypt this traffic with uh, this type of encryption. And then we are going to um, apply the interface I'm sorry, apply the name to the interface. And then just go ahead and set the password. Authentication open, all it means is that there's no restrictions on it. It doesn't mean that it's open because right here we're setting the password. The password's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And then we need to broadcast the network. Um, so you need to type in guest dash mode, and that's going to broadcast uh, the network from the wireless channel. I'm sorry, from the wireless frequency. The wireless channel. I put least congestion, but you can put channel one right where the question mark is. Um, and then we need to enable that D0 by typing in no shutdown, and it will enable the uh, D0, which is the 2.4 frequency. For the five, you just do the same thing. Uh, it's going to be a dot uh, eleven. SSID, and then of course this is going to be the 5 gigahertz network, so that's what we called it. And then you do interface dot 11 radio 1. That was the same thing as before with interface D0. You can do D1 if you want. I just bolted out, so that way you know both ways. Um, you're going to apply again, same thing, the name that you just created for the 5 to the interface because this is the 5 gigahertz, so it should reflect the name of the frequency. And then set the password. You can choose anything you like just for this tutorial. It just did something simple. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, again, we're going to broadcast it with the guest mode. Uh, again, it doesn't mean that um, you're letting guests uh, get access to it. That's just the command to enable the um, broadcast. And then you're going to do no shutdown on it. So you enable this frequency again. Usually, interfaces on Cisco devices are disabled by default. So you have to run the no shutdown uh, to, to say don't shut it down and that will enable the, the frequency and then of course again configure the channel. Before you uh, unplug the access point you do need to run this command which is going to save the configuration of what you just did. Uh, if you're in the um, sub interface you need to type in do first. Uh, if it just says config on your screen you can just type in copy run to start just like this specifically, and it will uh, save the configuration for you. And last but not least, just go ahead and plug it in now. Um, now you can actually plug it in anywhere you want, and it will uh, work. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do a live tutorial on configuring it very quickly. So here I have Putty, and we'll go ahead and double click on that. What we have to do is, in order to know what COM port we're going to be doing, uh, we're going to be working with, we need to go to the Device Manager, go to the Ports, and here it says COM4. So that's what we're going to use. We're going to use COM4, and just to make it a little bit easier for you to see, I'm going to make it size 16, so you're not squinting. Okay. So now I just hit enter and it brings us into the first mode. Again, along with the slideshow, we need to go into enable. It will ask us for the password, capital C, Cisco. I typed it in correctly. There it is. Okay, and then uh, we need to go into the configuration. And what we need to do is now we're going to configure the bridge interface. See how now you're in the sub mode where it says uh, config if. And now we need to give it IP properties. I did 10 only because I know, you know, that's an IP that's available in my network. You can do anything you like. So I should know it's available. And then the subnet mask. Exit. Now we've completed that. Now what we need to do is set the uh, default gateway. 
Now the default gateway for my router is 192.168.1.1, as most Linksys are. Okay, and now what we need to do is now we're going to configure, actually, so I'm sorry, now we're going to name the network. This is going to be the 2.4 frequency. And what I'm doing right now is just setting um, the password, uh, what the type it's going to be for that network. And we're going to broadcast it. Now we're going to because that's a zero, not an O. Don't make that mistake as I just did. You have to type in exactly what you just named it. I'm going to give this channel one. And then you have to enable the interface. Let it do its thing. Okay, now it's changed to up. So basically, if you look here, there it is. Okay, now we need to exit out of this, and now we need to program the 5 gigahertz frequency. Again, authentication doesn't mean anybody can connect to it. It just means that there's no restrictions on who. It means that any device can, which just like with a basic router, uh, any device can. And I'm just setting the password. Guest mode, broadcast the network. And now we're doing the D1 frequency, which is the interface for 5 gigahertz. Encrypt it with AES. And then exactly what you typed up there. And it's going to do its thing. I forgot to set the wireless channel, so we will do that. After it's done doing this thing, after it says to up, you can do that. Channel 36, what is what? 5 gigahertz. Um, you can do, actually. You can hit that, and what it does is it tells you what to do it with. Uh, you can also select the uh, least congested, you know, select the scan frequency. Uh, I'm just going to do 36, just again for demonstration. And then, of course, the do copy. See, I'm in the if, but if I do this, I can just go ahead and say copy, run start. See, the command actually didn't work, but if I went to config T, 
So all I'm doing right now is just kind of backtracking. You don't need to worry about right now. Um, so this is basically where we were. And just hit do copy. Run start. I just wanted to backtrack a little bit. Just hit enter. And now you're done. Uh, the only thing you, do, you can actually do is you can actually, uh, you can exit out of there, exit, and you can type in show dot 11. And this basically shows our frequencies. And if you look here, you have the Cisco AP and then the Cisco AP 5 gigahertz. So this is the 2.4 and this is the 5. I hope you found this video informative.